Hey guys, it's Norm. I'm here at the Exploratorium, here with Paul Sapofin, who's an exhibit developer at the Exploratorium. You're here to give a demo on spherification. What is that? So spherification is a process where um, you can take almost any kind of edible fluid and treat it chemically so that you can turn it into basically a liquid core sphere with a thin gel membrane encapsulating it. So it's almost like a little water balloon and when you put it in your mouth and bite down, it sort of explodes and like sprays flavor all over your mouth and it's sort of startling and fun. It's like mini flavor bombs that you can make out of juice, soup, what can you uh, make it out of? Uh, you know, one of the first spheres was made out of olives, like an olive puree, and the spheres can be made about olive size, so it actually looked like a little olive, and then uh, when you put it in your mouth, it would explode with an olive flavor, and so it's a reconstituted olive, but um, since then you can do things, uh, you know, spherized cheeses, spherized, like, uh, the first thing I ever made was a mango puree. Um, we have alcoholic spheres tonight. You can do carbonated spheres. To, I mean, just about anything. If you know the chemistry of it, you can figure out a way to spherize it. Um, and you can do all kinds of different sizes, too. There's caviar spheres made of little small capsules. Um, and then uh, they can get pretty big, like ravioli size. So what's the process exactly? I mean, you said it's chemicals, right? In, in our case, we're doing something called reverse spherification. What happens is we make a solution. In this case, this is dark rum, brown sugar, and molasses, and uh, calcium salt dissolved in it. And then we freeze them into little hemispheres. And what that does is it allows them to keep their shape when we do step two, which uh, if you look over here, we have an alginate bath. Alginate is um, a gelling agent that's made from seaweed. We drop the frozen uh, calcium impregnated ice cubes into the alginate bath. And what happens is the alginate and the calcium uh, start to form a gel. The calcium essentially glues the alginate molecules together. So this skin starts to form from the outside in. And then we wait, the longer you wait, the thicker that skin gets. So we wait till the ice cube's about melted, fish it out, and there you have basically a water balloon with no tie off. Uh, wow, and, and then it pops immediately in your mouth. Now it'll sit there until you bite down. Actually, one of the fun things about feeding this to people is you can watch their face and you can actually see the moment it pops. They actually like, their eyes light up, they, they get uh, sort of surprised by it. Is this something someone can make at home relatively easy? What would you need? Um, absolutely. You, you basically need to Google spherizing, and there are all kinds of vendors out there who sell kits that are, it's pretty easy to do at home in your kitchen. It's a lot of fun. All right, well, I got to try one for myself. Thank you so much, Paul. I'm going to go taste spherized alcohol. <laughs> all right, so here we have spherified rum with molasses. You can see that alginate layer. I'm going to put it in my mouth and see uh, how it tastes. Mmm. It definitely bursts my mouth. It's delicious. The membrane, it's kind of like tapioca a little bit, except it's completely liquid on the inside. It, it's like caviar, except a little bigger, and of course, rum. It's delicious.